would you like to paint these jellyfish along with me? They're actually quick, they're simple and a lot of fun, you'll see. So let me list all the materials that will help us paint these jellyfish. The medium that I used is gouache. I used Winsor & Newton's white, zinc white, and their primary blue. I actually have them taken out already in a tiny palette. I also had the Blue Pine Arts um, Dew Drop. It's a shimmer watercolor, and I just thought it'll be fun to give our jellyfish a little bit of glitter, a pencil, and an eraser. The brushes that I used are Princeton's Round 1 and Silver Brush Round 8. A couple of these sponges, they help us give a very fun texture to our bubbles. The paper that I will be using is Ayush Paper's Black Sketchbook. It's great to work on. It has it's the papers are quite thick and uh, they hold up well to wash. A container of water, and it's helpful to have a rag or a paper towel just to remove the excess water from our brush. So before we start painting, we're going to go ahead and just draw a light outline of our jellyfish. I've actually drawn it out on the black paper, but it might be difficult to actually see it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it out on a scrap piece of paper that I have. What I have drawn is a dome. So not very close to the top, but slightly below, we draw a dome and a curvy line just joining the two ends and another one beneath it that's our first jellyfish now we flip the paper over and draw our second jellyfish just the same way a dome a curvy line that connects the two ends and another one beneath it so this is the outline of the jellyfish that I have drawn out already. It'll help us place our jellyfish on our page. So let's start painting the jellyfish. I'm going to take the Princeton round one Taking out my excess, the, the excess water from the brush. Picking up some zinc white. Again, I don't want too much water on the brush, so I'm just taking it out. Nor do I want too much paint. I want to keep the jellyfish quite translucent so we're going to go ahead and just start outlining our dome from the center a line that goes down and the same thing on the other side from the center a line that goes down. Just continue outlining the dome. Follow the curvy lines. And then the line at the bottom. So we, our first jellyfish is done. We're done with the dome part of it. Uh, I want to keep it very light because this helps us give a very translucent appearance to the jellyfish. It looks great that way. I'm just going to move to the second jellyfish, 
picking up some more paint and doing the same thing. I'm going to start from the top Go down, just following the dome. The same thing on the other side, completing the dome. Moving on to the curvy line. Just gonna go in and pick some more paint up. Take as much as time as you want. Going back, getting some paint and just doing the curvy line that's at the bottom. We're done with our two jellyfish. So now what we are going to go do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some lines. From the top, from the center, add a few lines. I'm not going all the way to the bottom, I'm stopping some distance above. And the same thing on the other side. Adding some more lines on our side. Some more on the other side as well, just keeping it slightly denser on the sides and less dense in the center. Now we're going to flip the book and do the same to our second jellyfish. Again, starting from the top. But I don't go all the way to the bottom. I stop slightly above. I'm going to go ahead and add more lines on the sides, just making it denser. Going in to get some more paint. And at every point, I remember to take out the excess paint from the brush because we want a very translucent look to our jellyfish.
So the number of lines are actually more on the sides, giving it a very sort of a dense look on the sides. And again on the top, because all of our lines start from the top, it looks slightly denser at the top. And that's how we want it to be. Just go ahead and add as many lines as you'd like. Just remember to keep it dense on the side and on the top and less dense in the middle. I'm just continuing, continuing to add all the lines until I'm happy with it. Going back to the first jellyfish, I want to add some more lines on the side. Don't forget to remove that excess paint off your brush because we want it to be transparent. And too much of paint gives it a very opaque look. Remember to stop the lines just before you reach the curvy part. Dance around the top again, dance around the sides, less dense in the middle. Again, add as many lines as you'd wish until you're happy with it. So I think I'm happy with my jellyfish, so I'm going to move on to the next part. For the next part, I'm going to take the round eight. It's uh, I've, 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 I just basically would recommend that you use a bigger round brush because we're going to be painting the tent tentacles of the jellyfish. The ones at the center, they are slightly thicker. So a bigger round brush would actually help. So I've loaded up the bigger brush with the zinc white and again I'm going to take off the excess water, the paint, I, I don't want too much of paint or water on my brush because I want to keep the translucent look going. Now to draw the thick tentacles, I'm going to start from the curly lines, press down slightly and go all the way down and lift it up as I go. Start from the curvy line, press down. As you're going down, just lift the brush up. Don't try to keep them all the same length. It looks really nice when you try to keep them all different lengths. And they don't go straight down, but they rather go as a curve. So 
So I'm happy with all the tentacles that I've added on this jellyfish and I'm going to move on to the next one. Again, taking out all the excess water from my brush, starting from the center, press down, and go all the way down, lift it up. Press down, go all the way down, and lift it up. Just going in with some more paint. And I'm done adding all the thicker tentacles. Now I'm going back and picking up my uh, smaller round brush to add the thinner tentacles at the sides of the jellyfish. Again, we will be starting from the curvy line, from the curvy line, add the thinner part, thinner tentacles. Just like how we added the thick ones. Some on the other side as well. And I'm happy with the first jellyfish. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the second one. Some on the other side of as well. And 
I'm happy with the second jellyfish as well. I'm just gonna go back to the first one and add another one just on this side. No, I'm happy with both of them. Now it's time to add some color to our jellyfish. So I'll be using primary blue, but you can go ahead and use any color that you wish. It can be yellow, orange, pink, green, or you could have one of two dif uh, one of each color, different colors as well. So I'm going to take the blue on my detail brush, the Princeton round. And again, I'm going to make sure I don't have too much paint or water on the brush. And start adding lines on the dome of the jellyfish, just like how we added the white line. We're going to actually follow the white lines, but it's not going to be quite as dense as the white lines. Just a few streaks of blue to give that impression of there being some amount of color on the jellyfish. No, that's about it. I like it just as it is. I don't want to add too much of color, just the impression that there is some amount of color on the jellyfish. Now I'm taking the blue. And again, I'm adding a few streaks on the tentacles, the thicker ones which are there in the center. Just to give the impression that there is some color on the jellyfish. Okay, I'm happy with the first one. Moving on to the second one. Just going to do the same thing. Adding a few streaks at the top on the dome. Remember, we do not want too much of blue color, just to give the impression that there is some color. We still want the white to show through. Now, if you do end up covering a lot of the white, you can just go back in with your white I'm happy with the, the dome portion of the jellyfish so I'm going to move on 
and add some blue to the tentacles. Again, just the thicker ones in the center. Now I do want to go back in and add a little bit of white to the tentacles of the first jellyfish. I feel that the blue has covered a lot of the white and I want to add a little bit of white to it. So this is what you can do if you feel that you added too much of color. You can just go back in with your white. Just going back in with my white because I feel like the blue has taken over. Okay, I'm quite happy with how it looks now. We're going to go ahead and add our bubbles. This is actually a lot of fun. And you'll see how the sponge actually gives a little bit of texture to the bubbles. I'm going to take the zinc white. And what I am going to do is just add it on the outside edge of the sponge. We're just using our brush to add the zinc white just to the outer edge, keeping the center clean, no paint on the center. If you wish, you could actually just take a little bit of blue and just add it in some places, maybe a couple of places. And now I'm going to go ahead and dab. So we make the smaller bubbles and we do the same with the bigger sponge. You see how adding the paint just on the outside, we kept the inside clear of the paint so it gives the bubble the transparent look. Again, I'm just going to add it to the outside. Oops, got a little bit of too much of paint on one side of the bubble there. Going to go ahead, add some dabs of blue.
And I want to see if I can actually overlap a few bubbles here. I like that actually. Some of your bubbles can go slightly outside the page as well. And I think that's all about the bubbles that I'm going to add. Now for the finishing touch, I'm just going to go and add some shimmer paint. So I have some shimmer paint on my brush and I'm going to go ahead and add it on the dome of the jellyfish. You can add it to the tentacles, you can add it to the bubbles. Just going to go in and add it to the other jellyfish as well. And that's it, our jellyfish illustration is complete. You'll see how adding the little bit of shimmer gives it that shine, just some glitter. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have your jellyfish painted out. And if you did create these jellyfish, I would love to take a look at them. On Instagram, I'm the whole nine three, uh, the whole nine and three quarter yards. Uh, I'll I'll put it I'll put it in the description below below the video. So do tag me, and I'd love to see what you have created. Thank you for watching. If you do have uh, pointers on how I could improve these videos or any other topics that you would like to learn, make sure to comment and let me know. Thank you.